Alright, so I'm going to give y'all a perfect example on why black men, black women, and the Democratic Party don't get along. Because they're one and the same. So, Professor Kiara Bryant, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks to all of the witnesses for being here. Uh, before, uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Metzke, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important Because of my line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm is denying that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you are denying that trans people exist. Thank and you. that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're at, opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Yeah, the black woman is a creation of the Democratic Party. She's like Frankenstein's monster. You know, ever since, what, 1970, she's a product of Democratic Party policies. Black woman wasn't like this pre-65. So how do you make a home with this woman? Right? How do you cohabitate with this? Unreasonable. As you can see, she's unrelenting. If she's unrelenting with, with a senator in, in the halls of, of wherever the fuck they at, imagine how she's going to be with you in, in the confines of your home. Look at the accusatory tone she has. Imagine trying to convince the police that you didn't do what it is she said that you did. Good luck. Imagine going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this woman in family court. Imagine going to custody or child support court against this woman. The only court you would possibly muster a defense against this type of rabid lunacy is in the court of public opinion. Because it's obvious that she's batshit crazy. And this is the Democratic Party. And this is the modern day black woman. And you can forget raising a son to be a man with this woman. Your son's either going to be Billy Porter or a super pooky predator from the anti-cisgender programming. And if black women fought for black men's rights the same way they fight for the rights of the LBGTQ, then maybe y'all would have some men to protect y'all. SYSBM, get the fuck out of Dodge, nigtow, bunker.